Parrot OS 7.0 has arrived and this release is less about flashy visuals and more about tightening the bolts on a system that already lives in the real world. This update focuses on stability, security, modern workflows and better alignment with how people actually use Parrot today, whether that's on bare metal, inside virtual machines, through Docker or even on Windows using WSL. Let's walk through what's new, what's improved and why Parrot 7.0 matters. Parrot 7.0 is now fully based on a newer Debian stable foundation. That may sound boring, but it's actually the most important change in this release. A newer Debian base means newer system libraries, better hardware support, improved performance and long-term stability. It also means security updates arrive faster and with fewer surprises. This foundation shift makes Parrot 7.0 feel calmer and more predictable. Tools crash less, services behave better, package conflicts are reduced. It's the kind of upgrade you don't notice immediately, but you absolutely feel over time. The Linux kernel has also been updated, bringing better support for modern CPUs, GPUs, Wi-Fi chipsets and storage controllers. If you're running Parrot on newer laptops or desktops, especially with hybrid graphics or newer wireless hardware, this release is noticeably smoother. One of the big practical improvements in Parrot 7.0 is how it handles installation and system setup. The installer is more reliable, especially on EUFI systems. Disk detection is more accurate, encrypted installations behave better, and post-install configuration issues are far less common. This matters because Parrot is often installed in environments where things must just work. Lab machines, field laptops, virtual machines spun up quickly for testing. The smoother installation experience reduces friction right from the start. Desktop users will notice refinement rather than reinvention. The default desktop environment remains familiar, but animations are smoother, resource usage is better, and overall responsiveness feels tighter. Memory usage has been optimized, making Parrot 7.0 more comfortable on systems with limited RAM. Security tools remain the heart of Parrot and this release updates a wide range of them. Penetration testing frameworks, exploitation tools, cryptography utilities and forensic applications have all been refreshed. Many tools now ship closer to their upstream versions, reducing the gap between official releases and what's available in Parrot repositories. More importantly, broken or abandoned tools have been cleaned up. Parrot 7.0 avoids shipping outdated software that no longer works as expected. That cleanup improves trust. When a tool is present, it's far more likely to actually function. For people who prefer lightweight setups, Parrot 7.0 continues to support minimal installations. You can install a base system and add only what you need. This is especially useful for cloud deployments, containers or custom lab environments. Docker support has received meaningful attention in this release. Official Parrot Docker images are better maintained and more consistent. This makes Parrot far more useful in automated workflows, CI pipelines and container-based testing environments. If you are building reproducible labs or running tools inside containers, Parrot 7.0 fits neatly into that workflow without extra hacks. Another major focus in this release is Windows Subsystem for Linux. Parrot 7.0 improves its WSL compatibility and provides clearer guidance for running Parrot inside Windows. Networking works more reliably, system services behave better, package updates are smoother. This makes Parrot a practical option for people who live primarily on Windows but still need Linux-based security tooling. You don't have to dual boot, you don't have to manage a virtual machine, you can run Parrot alongside your Windows tools and workflows. Documentation has also seen real improvements. Guides are clearer, setup instructions are more accurate, and common issues are better explained. This may not sound exciting, but documentation is often the difference between a usable system and a frustrating one. Parrot treats documentation as part of the product, not an afterthought. That's a sign of maturity. The Parrot team has also refined their Raspberry Pi and ARM images. Performance is better, compatibility is improved, and first boot setup is more reliable. This matters for portable labs, embedded projects, and lightweight deployments. 
security hardening remains a core philosophy. Parrot 7.0 continues to ship with sensible defaults that balance usability and protection. Services are not unnecessarily exposed, permissions are carefully handled. The system feels secure without being hostile. At the same time, Parrot doesn't lock you into a rigid configuration. Advanced users still have full control. You can strip it down, rebuild it or customize it deeply without fighting the system. What Parrot 7.0 really represents is consolidation. It's not trying to impress with radical redesigns. It's trying to be reliable, modern and trustworthy. This is the kind of release professionals appreciate even if it doesn't scream for attention. If you are already using Parrot, upgrading to 7.0 is worth it for the stability alone. If you are new to Parrot, this is one of the best entry points the project has offered in years. Parrot 7.0 feels like a system that knows what it is and refuses to pretend otherwise. It's a serious operating system for serious work, polished enough for daily use and flexible enough to adapt to almost any environment. That balance is hard to achieve and Parrot 7.0 pulls it off quietly, confidently and without unnecessary noise. That's what's new in Parrot OS 7.0 and this release sets a strong foundation for everything that comes next.